Greetings to episode four of this six part Zwift for Beginners series. And today we're gonna to talk about how Zwift can help improve your fitness. And there are four main ways that you can build your fitness on Zwift. And I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna cover them all, but I'm gonna go in depth more of two of them. So the four different ways are social rides, races, training plans, and pace partners. So I think the key thing to start off with saying with any of these is consistency is so important. And I think that's why Zwift is so incredible because it doesn't matter what the weather's doing, you can always, you know, you're always able to train. So let's first start off by talking about social rides. So there are so many different social rides on all the time on Zwift in all different time zones, different lengths, different speeds, different paces, so many different social rides to choose from. And these are great if you want to just commit to doing one once a week, for example, or as many as you want, there are so many. But I think for me, I love that, that community aspect of it and it gives me a little bit of a push um, for motivation if I'm feeling like, oh, I don't really wanna ride today, but if there's a, a social ride that I've committed to, it'll make me wanna ride more. And the next one are races. Races on Zwift are incredible. I don't think I've ever pushed as hard on a bike as when I've been in a Zwift race. There's just something about it in that group race setting that just pushes your motivation. I don't know what it is, but races are incredible for pushing, I think even pushing past what you think you're capable of. So that I would definitely recommend doing some races. And like with social rides, there are so many different races, different lengths, whether they're flat or hilly, and there are different categories so that you will find a race that will fit and suit your current fitness. So honestly, races are amazing, but I am gonna do a specific video on social rides and races so that you can get like a full in-depth understanding of how they work. So now we're gonna look at training plans and workouts. So once you log into the home screen, you will see a button kind of in the middle of the screen that says training. If you click on that, that is gonna bring up all the different workouts and all the different training plans that you can follow. If you click the left-hand tab, which says workouts, you're gonna find all the different workouts that are on offer on Zwift that have been created by top coaches. So you'll see that they vary in length and there are some longer term plans on there as well. So you've got like a four week FTP booster. There's also different options for riding your first century or baby on board or an eight week race day prep. So have a little look on there and see which, which I guess workout and which plan works for you and what you, you know, what your goals are. And then if you click the right hand tab, which says plans, you're going to find all the different, I guess, longer term training plans. So anything ranging from four weeks up to 12 weeks. And these are all based on different activity levels and how much time you, you can set aside a week to train. So if you're starting back your fitness journey, back to fitness, which is a beginner um, plan, which is 10 to 12 weeks, which is an hour a week. But if you're training for a Grand Fondo, for example, there's a long-term plan for events, you know, between 100 and 200 kilometers, and that's a five to eight week program with five hours a week training. But I'd suggest you just go and have a look on here, have a look through what there is. And if you actually click on each of the plans themselves, it'll tell you, you know, what's coming per week. So I think that's really good to actually go and have a look at. And the main thing that I would say with these training plans is pick one that you know you have time to do and, and so that you can be consistent with it because consistency is everything. So it's better that you have, you know, got training, which is like three hours a week that you can do for 12 weeks than sign up to one that says, you know, eight hours a week and you can only do it for two. So just be consistent and that's, the, that's the, gonna be the best way to build your fitness. So once you've selected the workout that you want to do, if you click on that, click workout and then click ride, that will take you directly into Zwift and the uh, workout and the training session that you've chosen will be loaded. You can also choose the world and the route that you want to do your workout in. So this is what the screen will look like when you're actually in a workout. So on the left hand side of the screen that you'll see lots of different colored bands and they will show you how many minutes you will ride at a set wattage. And you'll also get prompts from the coach who designed the workout in the middle of the screen throughout the workout just to kind of help motivate you through it. The next way of getting fitter on Zwift are pace partners. 
So how do you actually ride with the pace partners? So on the home screen, you want to either choose Watopia or Mercura Islands because this is where the pace partners live. And where at the bottom of the screen it says find other Zwifters, you will see pace partner bar there. So you select that and then you can select which pace partner you want to ride with. So A is 4.2 watts per kilo, B is 3.3 watts per kilo, C is 2.5 watts per kilo, and D is 1.5 watt per kilo. Pace partners are amazing. And they are basically like a ride leader that sits at a set pace all the time. So you can ride with them and it's kind of like a group ride, so there'll be a few of you around that rider. If you have an event in mind that you want to ride at a set pace, then pace partners are the perfect tool to be able to build your fitness to the pace that you want to be able to ride at. So pace partners are also a good way to either warm up or cool down after a say, you know, part of your training plan or a social ride. And very briefly, just explaining what watts per kilo mean if, you, if you're not aware. So if you've got a smart turbo or you've got a power meter, the power numbers are in the top left of the screen when you're actually riding and that tells you how much power your legs are pushing out and that's also incorporating your weight so watts per kilo is based on how many watts per kilo you are currently putting out so for someone that's 65 kilos if you're holding you know 130 watts that's two watts per kilo so i hope that makes sense and if you're not sure, go and have a ride on each of these and see what the pace is like. And then that will give you a better idea of what your watts per kilo are and your, what your goal watts per kilo are. So they are the four ways that you can use Zwift to build your fitness. And talking from experience for me, Zwift has been a huge, huge factor in me building fitness. And I think it's just down to the consistency. It doesn't matter what the weather's doing. I'm in the drizzly cold UK. Zwift is my go-to for doing all my training. So I hope you found that video useful. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I will see you next video for episode five of this six part video series. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.